Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And today's episode is going to be really, really, really exciting because today I'm going to show you the first pictures of a US American built EUC, the Evolution EV Evo. So let me tell you more about it. Now right away also big thanks, I'm very grateful and thankful to Brian Crumrine, the man behind this brand new EUC, for sharing information with me. Um, we've been in touch for a while since he already made a EUC before that was seated, looked really like retro and cool. I have the privilege to, to show you guys first in the world how this EUC will look like. And before we get into it and dive deeper, I just wanted to do a thing that every YouTuber does. I see that a lot of you aren't yet subscribed to the channel. So feel free to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. This helps me out a lot. And you'll be also notified about any future interesting videos or not interesting videos in that matter. So uh, let's do that. And now let's just jump into this EUC. So the Evo will be really exciting. There's a lot of specs, there's a lot of design choices that are very, very interesting, but even without the specs, I'm very happy to see another company producing USCs because this means more competition, means better stuff for us as consumers. And this will be also the first power EUC made in America. And we've been you know, we've, we've had our Chinese UCs for a while now and basically that's all is left for us. And having a UC built in the Western world with higher, you know, quality standards, with higher safety standards is, is just a blessing. It's really awesome. But with that said, the Evo will be a 22 and a half by four inch wide UC. The fattest tire ever put on a production UC. And as we will be going through all the details, you'll see that uh, Brian is very much inspired by motorcycles. And so you can see that in many regards of the EUC. 22 and a half inches will be a very, very stable EUC. You'll be able to select different tires, which is, uh, as you know for now, a quite difficult thing to do with our EUCs to get like a right tire, which fits and doesn't like scrape on the inside, for example, on the S18. Uh, here in the Sherman, we have two tire choices, but here with the Evo, there'll be a lot, a lot more. So that's really exciting. Uh, it will be a 84 volt EUC uh, with a top speed of 40 to 45 miles an hour, which is like 60, thing, five kilometers an hour to 72. And with a lot of overhead, as Brian says, so going 40 to 45 miles an hour should be comfortable and safe. Uh, the free spin of the wheel should be 50 mi 55 miles an hour, which is around, I think, 90 kilometers an hour. A little bit lower than the 100 volt wheels by Bugotti and uh, Vedran, but it's supposed to be enough in this, um, in this device. Furthermore, when it comes to the battery, uh, it will contain 200 cells in evenly distributed packs on both sides, so two on one side and two on the other side. And there will be also a future expansion kit possible for longer travel. So you could just remove one battery and put the other in, something that is not yet available on any other EUC. Uh, so the capacity uh, of the system will be 2160 watt hours, so bigger than the you know RSs, King Songs, and uh, so on. And uh, this is without the expansion kit. So this will be already a pretty long range electric unicycle. With that said, also the cells that um, the Evo will be using are Samsung cells, something I really prefer over the LGs, and this will be the Samsung 30Q cells, if you're interested about that. The motor power, I don't know the nominal motor power, but 5,000 watts will be peak, and you know, we'll see about the acceleration times, about the torque and all of that stuff soon, but this is already pretty cool. And as you can see, he also uses sort of like an e-bike motor with spokes, and that's something I was, you know, asking for in the uh, EUC world for a long time, because these rims might be just a bit more durable, and the rim, as said, will be uh, a more universal rim, which is good for selecting different tire options. And Brian also thought of the durability. So this wheel will be rated with a, and I'm not joking, a wheel weight load capacity of just over 600 pounds, which is 
270 kilograms. So finally, there will be a good, uh, there will be a choice for heavier riders um, to get a wheel which is powerful and safe enough that can handle also higher loads. Maybe we can also like ride with two people. Let's let's think about it, right, Kate? <laughs> uh, so around the EUC, there will be also a, a half-inch round tube cage, similar to the veteran Sherman, also attached in a couple of spots. Uh, so this should be uh, very cool. Also aluminum pedals with removable or replaceable spikes and angle for advantages uh, in grip and acceleration, things we know already. Like for example, the Nilanova are also pretty cool pedals, but that's pretty cool with stainless steel and grade eight fasteners. Cool. I think I'm also really looking forward is uh, the cushioned leather seat. Um, no wheel, well, except for the Kingsong 18S, not S18, 18S has a built-in seat. So here you can see that on the Evolution EV Evo, there will be a seat in the middle of the wheel, which is, I think, the correct placement. It should be like more in the back because then you just break all the time. And I think this will be really awesome. And as I was looking also for the dimensions, so maybe I'll talk about that later, it should be also really comfy to seat on it since this will be a higher uh, UC. There will be sports bike inspired LED tail lights, once again, motorcycle inspired stuff, and a two and a half inch LED projector headlight with white LED halo, so also a daytime running light. Pretty cool. There will be also a Bluetooth connection HUD head-up display, so we'll see about that. Live tuning, data collection, runs for uh, diagnostics. A pretty cool thing and a really important thing is there's also something that EVX talked about in his videos uh, about the UC safety is a intelligent BMS for smart, smart devices. So this device should be a lot safer than, for example, a performance wheel like I don't know, the, for sure than the Big Odie, but also safer than the Sherman. Pretty exciting. And there'll be also a waterproof, yes, waterproof, removable side panels, interchangeable battery packs, as well as a future expansion kit for extending your range as planned. Let's just um, also look and discuss some of the pictures I have here. Uh, I very much like the styling, it looks very different for, from what's on the market right now. Maybe like the rails a bit similar to the Sherman in terms of like a bit of shape and, and the color for sure. Uh, but I very much see like a retro look here. Um, and also comment below what you think about this EUC, what features you would like to see and all in all, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, because um, Brian is a very open person for community feedback uh, and for expanding, changing features um, according to like what a writer needs. So he's very much a writer. And yeah, if you would see any feature on the EUC or where we would like something changed, then let us know in the comments. Uh, you can see that the power pads are also sort of built in, the plastic elements. Uh, not really sure what will be behind those because the battery is actually more in the middle, in the center of the wheel. Uh, so that's something we are yet to find out. The taillights look pretty amazing and I've already seen this model on some scooters, um, some modded scooters, so I know that these lights are really bright and that is also something we need in the EUC world since the Sherman backlight is pretty bright when you break, but other than that, it's not that bright, especially in the EXN, very, very dim. Uh, I also hope that the mud flap will be enough front and rear. And uh, another thing that uh, Brian mentioned is that there's a lot of room inside the wheel well, so you can change tires to whatever you like. Here we, ha we, ha we can see like a off-road cross tire sort of, but in other pictures we also see uh, a more road focused tire. Uh, one thing I was wondering about is how comfortable it will be to pick up the wheel since I don't really see any you know grab handle here so maybe that's something that will change along the way. And also stay tuned till the end of the video because I also asked some specific questions to Brian and uh, I'll read to you what he answered. Here we have also a picture of the dimensions uh, dimensions of uh, the wheel. So the clearance here from the bottom of the ground till the lower side of the foot plate is uh, around six inches, 5.7 inches, which is 15 centimeters. Uh, and this is basically a similar height to the Bigodi EXN. So a lot of ground clearance, also pretty good for off-road. Uh, in terms of the overall height, it will be around 28 inches. And as you will see now, this will be a lot higher than, for example, the Sherman, because 
here we, let's just measure from around the bottom to the top. The Sherman is around 56 centimeters, or let's say even 60 centimeters. So the EV will be around here. So it should be more comfortable for seated riding. Uh, but uh, I guess it will be just a bit a little bit less portable, sort of like a more motorcycle design inspired uh, design. And dude, this tire will be just huge. Nice. Let's just see really quick. 9.38 inches. 9.38 inches is 23.83 centimeters. So it's 23 centimeters, which is quite a bit wider than the Sherman, around three centimeters. But I guess this will be still really comfortable and uh, a nicely, you know, hugging uh, position of on the wheel. When it comes to the controller, it's a 100 volt, 250 amp VASC uh, controller and the BMS is rated a two, at 250 amps. So this is that and this is pretty much everything I know for now about uh, this EUC. So I'm really excited about that. It's very a, a very big wheel, a very like motorcycle inspired monocycle and I think it will be just really awesome and I will I'm really waiting to, to, to see the first prototype. So with that said, Let's also see some questions that I asked uh, to Brian. Where does the idea come from? And uh, Brian answers, I have had a passion for motorcycles and self-balancing technology for a while now. Built a few fast bikes when I was younger and like many people that lay their eyes of an AUC, it crossed my mind how I would love to see uh, or build a one-wheeled motorcycle. And so the journey began. First with my seated prototype, and now I'm trying to blend in the theme with a traditional EUC. The motorcycle theme is something I will uh, try to bring into the design all the time. And second question, how are you planning to manufacture it? Availability and production. The goal for manufacturing is to maintain as much in the US as possible. I build most everything myself for my prototypes, but for the production level, I have sourced a few local companies that will start building my leather accessories and injection bolt bodies. And I didn't tell you before, the company is located in Kansas and uh, in, in the United States. Aluminum or aluminum pedals. And hopefully after heavy testing, we will also have a connection to a new motor control company soon, also based here. I'm keen on hand-built products which offer a chance for better quality control by me. It will be an internationally available product. When can we expect a working prototype? My set goal for a working prototype is by the end of May, with heavy testing done on street, off-road and in cement skate park. Any design revision will happen during the summer. First batch goal set for fall. And what are the most important key aspects of this EUC for you? Uh, number one, it's style. Number two, it's uh, built to survive with a roll cage, strong wheel with a solid axle, high rated electronics and quality parts such as any spark, AMASS, XT90 and XT150. I didn't see a XT150 connection yet in a EUC and high quality wires and cables. Uh, number three, implementing a lot of what the community has been asking existing companies to do for a while, such as integrated pad design, swallowable batteries, seat, better panel design, intelligent BMS system, more part availability and customizable options. I designed the system around a semi open source platform utilizing VESC controllers, DALI BMS and frame designed around fast tire e-bike wheels. And the fourth thing is tire options. Uh, and the last question I asked is, um, how will you tackle cooling? With the system using components that are rated well over uh, what they will ever see. The likeliness that they will overheat is reduced dramatically. Although this is the case, I will be implementing protected airflow channels through the electronics enclosure. So Marty, I guess you will have to test that on overheat hell soon. <laughs> and I also asked Brian if there's any additional info he'd like to share and he said that I'm still implementing a few things into my design as I am being very picky about how they look and function. One of these things being the enclosure air channels, a cosmetically low profile tro trolley handle, a detachable kickstand and a hidden power button. I'm curious if the community would like to see more motorcycle themed UCs like this. Cool. So this is the Evolution EV Evo, a US American prototype wheel that will maybe soon hit the roads internationally. So I'm very, very excited for that. Once again, big thanks to uh, Brian for sharing this info with me, for letting me share this info with you guys. And yeah, just 
excitement. So if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.